of the day. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Sabiha Azmi and today I am going to talk about Dalit and tribal writings. I work as associate professor at the Department of English, Hamidia Girls Degree College. This is paper 2 which deals with women and literature and the module that I would, ta would be taking is module 19 on Dalit and tribal writings. Being the director of the Center for Women's Studies at the college, the subject of women's right is very dear to my heart. Women's studies as an academic discipline is a boon for all women as it takes an in-depth study of the ruthless subordination of women at the hands of patriarchy and their consequent marginalization and victimization. Every single moment a new chapter or deprivation adds insult to injury. What is the cure to this malady? One and only one, more and more research and strategic implementation of the findings to liberate and emancipate women. The stress, seething discontent and the resultant anguish compelled me to study the issues and challenges which confront women. As I pondered on the subject, the plight of the Dalits and the case of the double marginalization of Dalit women intrigued me. What impressed me most was the sheer resilience of the Dalit women and their will to fight the forces of patriarchy and assert themselves and the, through their writings. Dalit feminism and literature in fact points out histories from below. Dalit literature gives voice to the sentiments of Dalit and calls for social justice. It can be best described as a literature of protest. This literature of protest comes to focus and takes shape as a result of the deeply entrenched caste system in India. There are two distinct canons of Dalit literature, Marathi Dalit literature and Tamil Dalit literature. Marathi Dalit literature focuses on the lives of Dalits in general, whereas Tamil Dalit literature is a major voice of Tamil women. Uma Chakravarti is of the opinion that the upper caste played a tricky game. They grasped the opportunities set forth by the colonial powers and wrested power and social status for themselves alone. Who are the Dalit people? For 3000 years, the Dalit people of India have suffered under the caste system, which often imposes limitations on their education, health care and even where they can, even on places where they can worship. Dalit goods are committed to raising awareness of their circumstances. Millions of Dalit find themselves crushed every day. Let us talk about Dalit literature. Dalit literature brings into focus the Dalit point of view. It is fueled by Marxist and Buddhist thoughts which advocate a classless society, upholding the rights of every individual. Dalit writing expresses complete disillusionment with Hinduism. Modern Dalit literature got its impetus from Jyoti Bhapule. Professor S. M. Mate and Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Two clear voices of the Dalit literary canon can be heard, one being the Marathi Dalit literature and the other being the Tamil Dalit literature. Uma Chakravarti says, most reprehensibly, caste ideology denies subjectivity to the Dalits by depriving them of dignity 
and personhood. Uma Chakravarti's essay on Pule Brahmanism and Brahmanical Patriarchy deals with the processes of social change in Western India in the 19th century. She writes, the upper caste, primarily Brahmanical caste groups, sought to adjust to the colonial situation and grasp the opportunities provided by it to form a professional middle class. While there was at the time a contestation of such a process from the non-Brahmin caste. The word Dalit comes from the Sanskrit root word Dal, which means broken, grontaden or oppressed. Earlier they were known as untouchables, depressed classes and harijans. Dalit refers to one's caste rather than class. It applies to members rather than class. The members puff, the members belong to the menial class caste who bear the trauma of being the untouchable and impure. Owing to their caste, they are subject to violence both physical and mental and lead segregated life and segregated and inhuman lives. The caste system in India is based on the Brahmanical system of stratification, varn and jati. Varn in Sanskrit means color. Originally, there existed four broad divisions of society, which were the Brahmins, the Kshatriyas, the Vaishya and the Shudra. Later on, an addition was made, which comprised of the untouchables. B. R. Ambedkar rightly words the caste system as graded inequality in which castes are arranged according to an ascending scale of reverence and descending scale of contempt. Berman further calls it institutionalized inequality. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was the first starring figure to work for the rights of the Dalits. After representation made by him before the Simon Commission, the British granted the repressed classes along with other communities to have separate electorates. Gandhiji opposed this move and went on fast unto death. On 24th of September, Gandhiji and Ambedkar reached an understanding and signed the famous Pune Pact. The Pune Pact provided reservations to the Dalit in government jobs and legislative assemblies. The pact opened up many avenues for the development of the Dalits. Dalit literature as a genre was established in the 1960s and 1970s. It constitutes both the tribal and the non-tribal voices in literature. Dalit literature speaks of a politics of liberation, which voices the anguish of the entire community and not an individual alone. Arun Kamble, Shantabai Kamble, Krishna Kamble, Raja Dhale, Namdev Dhasal, Bandhu Madhav, Lakshman Mane, Lakshman Gayakwar, Hari Narake, Sharan Kumar Limbale, Vaman Nibalkar, Bhim Sen Dete and Bhau Pachabhai are noteworthy Dalit writers. The Dalit literatures believe that as long as the class divide exists, there can never be freedom, fraternity and justice. I will quote few lines from Namde Dhasal Kamle. Shed your skin, shed your skin, from its very roots skin yourself, let these poisoned everlasting wombs become disembodied. Let not this mumbled ball of flesh sprout limb, taste this potassium cyanide. As you die at the infinitesimal, infinitesimal fraction of a second, write down the small s that's been forever lowered. 
the Marathi Dalit writers have made a major contribution to the literary representation of Dalit problems. The Dalit writers broke the long silence by penning poems, short stories, novels and autobiographies. Anna Bhau Sathi and Babu Rai Bagul emerge as prominent writers. Sathi depicts his realistic writing, the humanity, lawlessness and cruelty of the caste system. Bagul is known as the father of Marathi Dalit literature. He was the first writer to associate the Dalit literature with the African American literature. He also initiated the internationalization of Dalit literature. His writing is influenced by thinkers like Marx, Lenin, Gorky and Chekhov. His work tends to be autobiographical which affords a tint of authenticity to his works. Dalit women are subjected to extreme forms of social, economic, physical and mental torture and exploitation. The level of violence against Dalit women is quite similar to the ordeal of black women in the US. This is a case of double marginalization. They are victims of caste and gender oppressions together. Action to upload is a, is a male prerogative. Women only incite action as is a superficially presented. In most cases of sexual assault on Dalit women, their cases goes unnoticed. Tharu and Lalita in their monumental women writing in India cite a number of autobiographies which herald the start of a modern genre of creating writing by women. Bama in 2005 says, oppressed, ruled and still being ruled by patriarchy, government, caste and religion, Dalit women are forced to break all the strictures of society to live. Women in the past were encouraged to read but not to write, which resulted in a huge disparity between authorship and readership. Baby Kamble's The Prisons We Broke is the first work that comes in Dalit literature which is written by a woman. Urmila Pawar's The Weave of My Life, a Dalit woman's memoirs, presents the major issues of class, caste and gender in the Indian context. Apart from recording of woman's discovery of selfhood and assertion of it is also a case of assertion of identity. Faustina Mary Fatima Rani Bama is a famous Dalit activist, writer and teacher. She writes under the pen name of Bama. As a propounder of Dalit feminism, she believes in portraying challenging forms of oppression which are both overt and covert in their own ways. Her writings propound the idea of social realism in literature. Bama's Sangati deals with the variegated experiences and stories of the Dalit women strung together. The narration adopts two modes, one being confessional and other being conventional mode. The novel makes a clarion call for action and transformation. Viramma is a Tamil illiterate agricultural laborer and midwife from Pondicherry village. Her autobiography is titled after her and is co-authored by Josane Rakin and Jean Luc Rakin. Viramma celebrates her Dalit identity and the narration is studded with Dalit songs, rituals, festivals and other community centric ceremonies. Viramma clearly rejects 
the Brahmanical order. Now let us study tribe and tribal writings. Tribe means a primary aggregate of people in a primitive condition under a headman or a chief. The distinctive condition of a tribe in India has been its isolation mainly in the interior hills and forests, but also in the frontier areas. The isolation whether self imposed or imposed by others blocked the growth of the material culture. The status of the status of tribal women is divided into two categories one where they have a low status secondly that of a matriarch in some matrilineal tribal communities. In certain communities we find that women enjoy a subordinate a higher position because the lineage is counted down from a woman to a woman to a woman. So, these are matrilineal societies, they are tri matrilineal tribal communities. Women in such tribes have greater freedom in the choice of mates and fully participate in the diverse economic activities of the household. But there are also other communities in the tribes where they are denied the, the lineage does not go from a woman to a woman and to a woman and therefore, they have a very subordinative position in society. The subject of Dalit literature is different and very contemporary. It has awakened the consciousness of the downtrodden. It allows them the opportunity to assert their identity. It represents a powerful emerging trend in the Indian literary scene. The literature of protest reverberates in all the corners of the world and has afforded opportunity to the downtrodden to rise above the stigma and share equal space in society with dignity. Thank you.